Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a PhD student in history and African American studies at Yale University. And today I am finally returning to YouTube after a small hiatus. I was filming for Vlogmas and partway through I needed to stop in order to focus on my finals. I've always said that my academics are my priority and I needed to be able to focus on my final papers. So I decided to put YouTube down for a couple days and focus on that. And then I needed to take a little bit of a vacation, take a little break away from YouTube as well as my consulting business in order to give myself some headspace to prepare for the new year. Last year, while it was very challenging, was one of my most successful years in terms of business and on YouTube. I grew this channel to nearly 7,000 subscribers and my business generated 17 times more revenue than I was expecting in the year of 2020. And so with that came a lot of hard work. It was my first semester as a PhD student. I was focusing on starting my business and getting that up off the ground, trying to attract more clients, trying to make content for YouTube and everything. And I wouldn't say I was necessarily burnt out, but I could feel it coming and I needed to take a step back in order to focus on my plans and my goals for the coming year and think about what kind of content I wanted to be creating. And I have a video that either went up before this one or after this one, I'm not entirely sure on the changes that are actually coming to Accepted Consulting, as well as my YouTube channel and my goals for 2021. So keep an eye out for that. I'm somebody that's very goal oriented. So I wanted to be able to track what my plans are for the coming year. And that is my little update. Another update is that my Peloton finally arrived. I ordered it for my birthday back in September and it finally arrived on December 31st. I have already logged a couple rides and I'm going to be riding quite a lot more. I want to focus on my strength this year. I'm not somebody that diets or that sets goals necessarily for my fitness, mostly because I've had a negative relationship with food and with fitness in the past. And so in order to aid that, I mostly just create goals that are geared towards strength or eating intuitively, basically listening to my body and doing what it needs. This year, my goal is simply to listen to my body and try to get a little bit stronger. I used to be a professional athlete and I feel very out of shape now that it's been about a year since I really worked out solidly. With that all being said, I went ahead and got up this morning. As you saw, I made myself a cup of tea as well as some breakfast. I took move for her walk and I am sitting down at my computer to get a bunch of work done. I have various projects that I'm working on for Accepted and I'm also working on launching a new website for my personal brand. I have various plans for the coming years that are tangentially related to my YouTube YouTube channel and to accepted consulting. And so I'm working on that right now. One of my goals for this year is to focus on public speaking engagements and also focusing on transfer students and community college outreach programs. I've also joined a startup as the marketing agent. So I have a lot of work on my plate, mostly looking to generate as much work and income as I can during the month of January before my term starts in February. Additionally, I'm going to be working on publishing my first article. So I'm going to be reviewing the the literature and doing lots of work on that during this break. I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and this morning we're going to go ahead and make up our plan for the day and get started. morning I have gone through client documents and prepared for our consultations as well as went live on Instagram to check in with you all because I've been a bad influencer and have not been on social media very much over the last couple of weeks. So I just wanted to check in with you all and see how you're doing, answer some questions. And so now I'm actually prepping for a consultation with a new client. And then after that, I have a call with this girl, Ashley. She's part of a nonprofit organization and we're going to meet to talk about a potential collaboration between Accepted Consulting and her nonprofit organization. So like I said, there's various initiatives that I would like to focus on this year and that is various partnerships with nonprofit 
profits and continue that into the future, as well as collaborations with other types of businesses and brands. So that is what I'm working on this morning. I have three calls today. I have two consultations as well as that collaboration call. And then I'm gonna be working on a web design project for that startup that I told you about earlier. And I'll tell you guys more details about that startup in the future, but I don't have very many details about it at the moment that I can share. I know I hate, and I'm sure you hate when influencers say like, I'm working on something you get to know about it later, but truly it's not really my project to talk about yet. So I will tell you once you're allowed to know, but I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, so I just got off my collaboration call with Ashley and she is part of the Prosperity Project, which is a nonprofit organization focused on providing financial literacy resources and professional mentorship to black girls and women. And I am trying to develop relationships between accepted and nonprofit organizations and create more routes for access for members of those different nonprofit organizations. So that way I can hopefully branch out with accepted and also just tap into resources that they have available, discussing masterclasses and other types of projects that I would like to get up off of the ground in the coming year or so. I'm very happy that I got to speak with her and discuss a couple of our different ideas. And I'm hoping that we can get rolling and just establishing a partnership in the coming months. My next consultation is in an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch and just hang out with Moo for a little while. I've been sitting at my desk all morning. So take a little bit of a break, then keep on working. Let me meet your wrist. It was a mistake, I admit, a temporary lack of judgment. You have this one. Because I think it really ought to be up to Miss Bridgerton. <laughs> when I'm buying the horse, I do not negotiate with the horse. So while I'm sitting here eating my lunch and watching Bridgerton, um, or Bridgerton, or Bridgerton, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I just wanted to show you guys some apartment updates. As you can see, I have some new artwork on the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around so I can show you what I got. So I got these five frames from Decenio and these four prints are from Decenio as well. And in the center, I have a piece coming from Etsy. And so that's why it's empty at the moment, but I'm almost ready for my apartment tour. So I got these floral pieces to go diagonally. And then I got these kind of minimalist line pieces. I just love them. It's just so beautiful and feminine. And I wanted something that would look very neutral with the couch, as you can see. So you can see Moo there. And so it really goes with the color scheme because right now I have this rug, which has various colors in it. And I wanted to make sure that everything was very complimentary. And obviously I have this kind of like gray neutral couch. And then I have the pink throw blanket. And then I'll show you some other changes. So obviously I have the Peloton here and then I don't know if I've shown this in a recent vlog, but I got these three prints from Etsy of Washington DC, which is my favorite city in the entire world. And then if you go to the right over in my kitchen, my dad got me this beautiful art print of James Baldwin. And I also got a Dyson from my grandmother for Christmas. So it's hanging right there. And then I have this calendar, which was gifted to me for Christmas by Danielle, the balanced academic. And I just love how my apartment's coming together. I'm going to be doing an apartment tour very soon. I have two more things that I need to have arrive before I can really do all of that. So I have a cabinet coming from Target as well as a round mirror for my bedroom and three prints because my bedroom's pretty bare and neutral. So I just wanted to get some more prints for my bedroom, but then my apartment will pretty much be done and ready for my apartment tour. I really feel like this is a lived in space now. When I first had the basic pieces of furniture, it really felt like a college apartment, whereas now it really feels like my adult apartment with 
art and the pieces that I really love. And I have furniture pieces that I really love as well. It's gonna make it so much easier when Liam and I do eventually move in together because I'll have the pieces that I really want. And then we don't have to buy a bunch of furniture. And then the pieces like the artwork and stuff that is a little bit more feminine that I would probably put in my office. Then we'll figure out artwork for the kind of community living spaces. And I also made sure to pick artwork for the bedroom that Liam would hopefully like and that would roll over well into our next apartment. So everything's very neutral. I really love these artworks. They're very subtle and I'm really obsessed with the piece that I picked to go in the middle. And you guys are gonna have to wait to see that one. I just wanted to show you some of the apartment updates because I haven't been able to for a while, but I'm glad you guys all got to see it. Let me know what you think. And I'll have everything linked down below in case you want to buy similar pieces. But now I'm just hanging out watching a little bit of TV before my consultation. And then I'll be doing some brand work for the startup that I'm working with as well as filming a video. So busy day, but it feels really good to be back to work and back to the vlogging. I missed it so much and I'm just glad to be back in the swing of things and back in my apartment. So that all being said, I'll see you guys in a little bit. got some packages in the mail. So I figured I'd go ahead and open them with you guys. The first package is a new sweater for Miss Moo. You look so cute. Oh my God. She doesn't look too pleased that I just put a new sweater on her. And then I believe this is the art print I was telling you all about earlier. It's so beautiful. I wanted something related to my research and my work in African-American studies. And I saw this print from an artist on Etsy and I just thought it was so beautiful. And so I thought that that would look really good with all the other prints. And then the last thing that I got in the mail is my new air fryer. I didn't realize I got one quite this big, but my grandmother got an air fryer and so did my sister for Christmas. And I just wanted one for myself. And I also really wanted it for cooking vegetables. So I'm really excited to play around with it. It wasn't crazy expensive and some of them can be, but the reviews were really good. So I'm excited to mess around with it tonight. I'll definitely be using it to cook dinner. So I'm gonna go hang up my wall art and then set up my air fryer. I'm actually gonna move some things around in my kitchen. So that's kind of my plan at the moment, but I'm really excited about my new cooking device. And Moo looks very cute in her sweater. She looks very scholarly. And I am gonna go ahead and prep for my meeting, which is in about an hour respond to some emails and things and keep the day rolling. Take you guys along with for the ride. Bringing me water, taking me high, taking me down. All right, so as you saw, I've gone ahead and started making dinner in my air fryer. I went ahead and put in some Brussels sprouts. It's got about 10 minutes left before I throw in the salmon. So I'm actually going to do a little Peloton ride. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on, pick which class I'm gonna do, and then get in a quick little workout before dinner, just so I get a little bit of exercise. Like I said, trying to kickstart my health journey. So let's see which class they have for today. So I finished my ride with Cody Rigsby. I did the like 15 minute 90s ride. And I've got to say, I feel like the shorter rides are more intense. Like they're more like hit workouts. And I was breathing heavy for like five, 10 minutes afterward, just like sitting down on the floor. Then we had a Zoom call for my grandfather and my sister's birthday. Then I took the food out of the air fryer and I was gonna show you what the plate looked like before I began eating, but I was too impatient and hungry. Moo is impatiently waiting to go outside. She's already had her dinner. So I'm gonna quickly eat this and then take her out for a little walk. And then I'll be sitting on the couch, just getting some work done this evening, as well as potentially hang out with Katie. That is the plan, Moo 
Why do you look so stoic? Doesn't she look like such a little scholar in this sweater? I think she looks like a perfect little Yale dog now. So that's what's going on. And I will check in with you guys after I've showered and done all those things. I am now working on client work for that startup I was talking about this morning, and I'll be able to release more details in the coming weeks. I talked to my partners and I'm very excited to be able to promote it on my channel and on Instagram and everything. So keep an eye out. There's a lot of announcements over the next couple months. It's just going to be craziness. And the next month in particular, as I work on getting my article put together and preparing for classes, as well as working on projects for Accepted and getting my website up off the ground and all of that. So there's a lot in the works. And now I'm going to go ahead and keep working for the evening and actually edit this and upload it tomorrow. I know you guys have been missing the vlogs. Thank you so much for those who have messaged me. I got a couple messages asking if I'm doing all right and I'm doing just great. I just needed a little r and and I needed to be able to reset. And now I'm back in the full swing of things and I'm excited to be uploading again. I have a lot of videos coming. So if there's anything you would like to see in the year of 2020, please let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.